Hello YouTube, Ready Reptiles here with another video and in today's video I'm building a South American red foot enclosure. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video and let's get started. Alright guys, so the rundown, this enclosure is going to be made out of landscaping timbers. These are used for, you know, anything landscaping, majority used for fences. They measure 8 feet long, so this enclosure is going to be 25 foot by 8 foot just so that I don't have to do too many cuts. It's a very simple enclosure for you guys to build and here all my adults and my younger red foots are going to go in here. As you can see under this Kiki hut, you haven't met him yet, but it's Buster. Uh, Buster is a blue and gold macaw and obviously he's also from South America. So this section of the yard is going to be my South American animals. And then on the other side, which I'll have the African stuff, which are the cicadas and you're going to meet some other people that are going to come here soon. So I want to share that with you guys and do some recording of what we're doing, how many screws we need, things of that sort. And then hopefully you guys can build this for your tortoises. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so these dimensions are 25 foot long by 8 foot wide. And the reason being is that these landscape timbers come in 8 foot uh, sections and like that would have to make too many cuts. Obviously, if you need uh, if you want to make it larger, you obviously need to make you know cuts necessary to the space you're going to give them. But for this size cage, you're going to need 32 timbers. And that is if you want to do four high, which we are going to do. So right now we have three, but the fourth one's going to kind of come out a little bit and create a ledge for the tortoises. If they want to climb out, they won't be able to because they're going to hit a ledge. And then obviously we're going to make their hides and stuff in the back in another day. And obviously I'm going to plant some things that are going to be you know south american related so i can make this a more naturalistic enclosure and so like i said 32 timbers for a 25 foot long by eight foot wide obviously if you want to make it bigger you're going to need more timbers or depending how many how, how high you want to go and as i said in the previous clip uh it's going to be a south american section and here's buster he's a quick introduction of him he has this outside perch where he stays under his tiki hut during the day and he comes in at night but right now since we're building he's going to chill with us so all the red foots would be under here while buster would be up top and then it's going to be pretty much a you know a double double enclosure for buster and for the red foots so here's kind of a just a general idea Hopefully when it is finished, I'll give you guys a, a quick clip. And then obviously in another video, I'll give you guys something with a little bit more in depth. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. All right, everyone. So here's pretty much the finished product of the, the you know, the formula. Well, you, whatever, whatever you want to call it, the shape of the enclosure. It is four high. Like I said, 25 feet long, eight foot wide. And inside are going to be my red foots. Uh, obviously here soon i'm going to make a box in the back that's going to be heated for them and then obviously i want to plant hibiscus edible plants and things of that sort to make it more of a natural looking enclosure we still have buster outside but here's pretty much the gist we did four high so that they can't climb out but i am still going to go buy another piece of about two three inches of wood and just kind of make a ledge over it so that they can't escape so that's pretty much the rundown i want to give you guys and you know here's something you guys can replicate in your own yard so hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Subscribe, rate, comment, likes, and see my fellow herpers. Make sure to comment down below anything you want to see. And check me out on Instagram for daily posts. So hope you guys enjoy and thanks for watching.